So my first reaction to the car system was along the lines of, what is all this? I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't need all that right now. But don't worry, I did the research for you. Hey everyone, I'm Barkley. Let's talk about the basics of the card system, what card sets to prioritize, and how to get them. To open your card catalog, you can go through your menu or hit Alt-C. At the top, you have three tabs, Equip, Books, and Enhance. First, let's take a look at your Equip tab. On the left side, you will see the card set. You can click your set effect details to see the bonuses they provide, even if you don't own them. The search bar allows you to search individual cards or the entire set. One thing to note is that every card doesn't have an active set bonus. In the middle, you can see by default, you have two card presets and you can buy more with gold, but I haven't felt a need to buy another one since they're tied to your character and not your roster. You can equip up to six cards at once. And on the right, you can see your active card set bonuses. Now we can break the books tab down. On your left, you have collected books that have bonuses separate from the set bonuses that we looked at on the first tab. These are passive and in the middle, you can see the bonuses that you get with each book. On my right, you can see my total book bonuses. So all cards do have a benefit, even if you don't actively use them. And a single card can belong to multiple books. For example, Cyan is in at least three different sets. Some people will go for these set bonuses, but a lot of people won't. Because if you delete these cards, you lose them in the book. And we have a cap for how many unique cards you can have, which can only be increased through crystals. That alone would be a turnoff for a lot of people. And this will lead us into the Enhanced tab. At the top, you can see the card catalog capacity. You can buy a row of 10 slots for 30 crystals, I think you start at 100, the exact number really isn't important because there's nothing stopping you from buying them as you need them. I've heard that there's a total of 303 unique cards, but I didn't know how to confirm that myself. If anyone has any additional information on that, I'd pin the comment for future reference. If that number is correct, 600 crystals isn't that bad if you're going to keep all of your cards, which you should. These bonuses are small, but later in the game, upgrades of the same size will cost a lot more money and you'll collect a lot of these passively. So for me, it's the earlier I start collecting, the better it is. Right now, 600 crystals are a few thousand gold, and I've lost that trying to upgrade one piece of gear. If you wanna wait it out and see if you actually value that investment that much, you could put them in storage or move them to an alt and put them in their storage so they just won't be in the way. Now let's take a look at enhancing your cards and awakening them. To do this, you're gonna need card duplicates, silver, and card EXP. If you select a card, it'll appear on the right. You can see how many duplicates you have here and the awaken level here. To start upgrading, you'll max a slider like with Honing, which will take Silver and Card EXP. You can see your Card EXP here. Unlike Honing, you can't fail. But for each level of Awakening you're trying to get, you'll need the same amount of duplicates. For the first Awakening, you'll need one duplicate. For level two, you'll need two, and so on. In total, you'll need 15 duplicates to max a card, which won't always be the most efficient, but that'll depend on the individual set. So if I was going to go for the Lost Wind Cliff set, which is a great set for DPS, you just don't use it until you have the 12 piece awakening set bonus, which gives 7% crit. For these four, the two Armin cards, Thyrain and Carmine, you'll be getting your duplicates of these from Abyssal Dungeons or card packs. But for Saria, you can get her card from a Wandering Merchant, and Solus you can get from spamming the East Lutera main story, and since they're both blue and green, you'll have a chance to see them from card packs too. You can get legendaries from card packs, but naturally you see more green and blue card packs. So going 1, 4, 4, 1, 1, 1 will in most cases be easier than going 2 across the board. And just because you have extra doesn't mean you have to use them. They don't take up space in your card catalog and card EXP and silver are very valuable. And if you don't know that silver struggle, you're about to find out. Card EXP is usually easier to take for granted, especially if you aren't regularly spending it. The best reliable way to get card EXP that I've found so far are cube runs but you also just get it from playing the game too. If you aren't using it wisely, you can blow through your EXP very fast. The cap on EXP is 1 billion, but don't worry about that. Now moving into the meta card sets, there's five that cover most bases and majority of players will end up using them. The first two card sets get used together because they only take three cards and they are We'll Meet Again and Forest of Giants. These are two defensive card sets providing damage reduction when you're below 50% health and 15% effectiveness on recovery items. Their Awakenings give more defensive stats. This is a great card setup for early game DPS sets, especially for Berserkers. You can get both Cyan and Madnik from the Wandering Merchant Jeffrey and Shushire. Getting them both in the same place makes it a little bit easier. Vrat you can get from spamming Vrat's Hideout in Shushire. For the Forest of Giants set, the Mocha Mocha card can be obtained through Rapport, the Wandering Merchant Oliver, and getting 350 Makoko Seeds. Tear comes from killing the first boss in this dungeon. 
and Caspiel comes from the world boss on the same island and 100% map completion. For the third set, you have the Lost Winds Cliff. We already talked about Syrah coming from Birth the Wandering Merchant, and Sola's coming from East Lutera's story completion. For the legendaries, you'll be hoping to get these from Abyss Dungeons, getting your first arming card from the second Awakening quest, and King Thyrain from the Trusted Rapport with him, you get Carmine from the achievement for doing 100 Chaos Gates, and you get the second armor card from getting 10 Ignea tokens. You'll be pursuing this for the 7% crit chance, and this card setup will be the stopping point for a lot of people. If you want to take it a step further, there's set four, the Light of Salvation set. It converts attack damage to holy damage and buffs holy damage. This will be the best card setup for DPS, but it's a very long grind, which can really be said about this entire system. You'll be getting your copies of these from Abyssal Dungeons, the Azena and Nineve cards come from Rapport. You get the Thyrain card from East Lutera at 80% map completion. Balthor comes from the achievement The Show Must Go On. You can only get Shandi from card packs and Abyssal Dungeons. Way is the easiest one to get out of this set. You can get his card from collecting 36 masterpieces, the Wandering Merchant Mac and Annika, and the Abyssal Dungeons. For set 5, you have the Field Boss 2 card set for supports. You get these from killing the matching boss and you don't need to awaken them to get most of the value. Most people will get these just by playing the game. 12% max health, simple, easy, and effective. What more could you ask for? As an honorable mention, the Romanticist set, in a vacuum, it's a good set. The problem is that the other two card set bonuses aren't that good. On top of the targeted ways, you can still get cards from card packs. So if you have the extra pirate coins, you can go to Peito or Fermata and buy their weekly card packs. There's seven for 2,000 pirate coins apiece, and that can speed up the process, but it's not for everyone. I value getting my boat upgrades first, but I may try to speed up the process of getting my cards later. So now you can go see what cards you have, what you need to get. I'm still working on my Lost Wins set. Good luck, everybody. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, do me a favor, comment, like, and subscribe. It's always appreciated and helps my channel grow. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.